And now, race fans, for those most famous words in all of motorsports, I present to you the Chief Operating Officer and Executive Vice President of AAA Mid-Atlantic, Mr. Bernie Koch. AAA and NASCAR, great combination. AAA members, help me. Drivers, start your engine! Caution here for a few raindrops. This is going to help my time. We'll go a lap down if we have to. It's going to be us no good riding around that one. Put it on there. We'll get the lucky dog at the competition yellow. There you go. So we got two laps here. With Carl Edwards now alongside Kurt Busch on the front row coming to the green. Truex in the 56. Kyle Busch to his outside of the 18. And the deal was they were able to get the right front uh, sway bar changed, and it was nothing left loose. It was nothing. It was a human error. The base plate in the bracket snapped off. It broke, and so the, the team was disappointed that it happened. But glad it wasn't something they had done or omitted doing as far as tightening the sway bar. We put another sway bar on. It has not been loaded properly. But the Earnhardt Jr. trying to race his way back up to get the lucky dog to get a lap back. This is critical for Dale Earnhardt Jr. that he does There's not the get caution. There it is. Looks like Jr. did race his way back into that lucky dog spot. Uh, nice job by his pit crew to get all of that done and get him back out there. Well, the 18 of Kyle Busch came in. He took four tires. He had a little bit of front end damage early in the race. They thought they wanted to take a good close look at that. Not anything to be concerned about, but he does need a little bit more rear grip, according to Kyle. Alan. Kyle, the first one on four fresh tires off this restart, taking the green in sixth position. At a 12.4 second stop on those four tires, too, for the 18 team, too. Looks like they're on it today. So the pattern at Dover has changed in recent years. We've seen long green flag runs. That looks like oh, Casey Mears. And wow, 32 car Mike Bliss just about collected and caution is out for the slow moving 13 car. He may have blown a tire. I'm not sure exactly what's going on there. Watch that right. See some debris. I thought I saw some debris coming out of this car. I just found it interesting, you know, we pitted under green. And the first few laps, I was nervous about going that fast and running across the black. 
nothing happened. And it, it was good for a long time, and I guess it's tire pressure related. Once the tires get pumped up, uh, the tire doesn't have any dampening left when you run over those black patches. Good feedback there from the five-time champ as we go racing. Edwards clears Burton to the lead. Kyle Busch goes to second. A little restart pressure here as we go back racing. Shy of halfway at Dover. A.J. Allmendinger, 43. Kevin Hart, 29 for the lead. Couple of teams had played some strategy on their pit stops and took rights only. Oh, trouble. Bobby Lamani off turn two. Caution. AJ Allmendinger, the leader, is chosen inside of Kevin Harvick. This green flag restart presented by American Ethanol. It's going to be very short time when we see this 48 car of Jimmy Johnson take the lead. Already put that rubber back down. New leader Kevin Harvick around Allmendinger to the top spot. Now Kevin Harvick took two tires this last time. That had been two times in a row that he had gotten just those uh, right sides. I'm wondering how long that may last for him. We'll have to see if he can hold on here throughout this run. And keep his track position as Johnson takes the lead. So you see on pit road now as we come back live to Dover, Brad Keselowski's team under the hood, Dave. Hey, Alan, sorry, we were just getting the scoop down here. Barely can he drive it because the power steering has gone south on the two car. Uh, crew chief Paul Wolf radio to him and said it was the uh, longest that he would be uh, able to be on pit road and try to fix it. And I'm getting the high sign that they did fix it. We'll find out what it was. Could have been just been as simple as the belt. If they just replaced the fan, you know, the, uh, the belt on the power steering. And then there's the 99 of Carl Edwards, who's led 116 laps today, but he had a pit lane speeding penalty. Right now, Edwards is one lap down. He's the first car a lap down, and he's been beating himself up on the radio with crew chief Bob Osborne about that rare mistake for Carl Edwards in the 99. Well, let's go back and show you what caused the caution in replay. J.J. Yaley in this 38 car and the monster mile wall. Now the groove here. I think he had a right front tire going down there. Sent him up. Yeah, I believe he was actually on the inner liner to that point, and then it blew out as he came off the wall. A nice move by a couple of guys to keep from hitting him as he crossed the track to get down to the inside lane. 95 to go. Clearing Matt Kenseth to get that second spot. Seventy-five laps to go here at Dover International Speedway. As you saw on NASCAR nonstop, the leader continues to be Jimmy Johnson, who's now led out front. One hundred and twenty-five laps today. Carl Edwards is out there a fair bit as well. One hundred and sixteen. We've seen twenty-one lead changes. It cautions a couple for rain and at the very bottom of that you see who the points leader is right now as they run the 29 of Kevin Harvick. Caution on the racetrack guys. Trouble on the back straight away Mike Bliss has crashed in the 32. Yeah it just gets loose coming up out of turn two. We talked about the nine degrees of banking on these straightaways and he just throws you down to the inside. Not much room there. Hmm. This track is so unforgiving when you spin. Well, it was such an incredible feat when we saw that 43 save it early in the race. That's going to come with 42 laps to go. Remember after the last restart, Kurt Busch really gave Jimmy Johnson a run for a few laps. Big run right there for Kurt Busch. That is going to be a new leader. And behind him. Casey Kane inside of Kyle Busch for third. Hey, if this 99 can get clear of these two cars, the 18 and the four right in front of him, he could be a factor in who wins this race. Brady oh, Trummer's coming. Got Greg Nimble off turn four on the front stretch. Into the inside wall. Caution's out. He was running 10th. 
Matt Kenseth was the closest We're car around him. Let's take it to the truck. Break for Racing Brad Keselowski hard. again. He's going to get back on the lead lap now. Now he'll get that lap back that he needs. Okay, Chad Canal saying he thinks they got enough. Alan. Jimmy Johnson did not get going well there. They spun the tires a little bit initially, but got it going. He's going to be okay. I thought maybe Casey Kane might be able to hold that spot, but here comes Kyle Busch. Take third. Casey had to ease off a little bit to keep from running into Jimmy. Going into one, maybe. Carl Edwards up to third. Talk about a late rally. Yeah, another caution flag, and Carl Edwards is going to be the man to beat, I think, to win this thing. He might still catch those top two. Carl Edwards busted for speeding. We got more, right? We got more right there. Exiting pit road on a green flag stop at lap 246. Knocked him back to 25th at the time. Now he's running third, trying to close. Look at that, Johnson hanging it out, Edwards hanging it out. We're gonna have Atlanta flashbacks here. These guys sliding all over the place in the final laps. Jimmy's really oh, struggling with his run up right now. You can see Johnson get in that rubber build up. His car really, really wiggling right there. Well, they're all three solidly back in the chase here now. I think that's one big thing, but they do want to win. You know, that's the goal right now. Yeah, they're thinking about the chase in the back of their mind, but right now they want the trophy. A lot's been made of the radio conversations between Jimmy Johnson and Chad Knauss during last week's New Hampshire race. Steve Addington pushing for Kurt Busch on the left. There are some tense radio conversations as well as his driver has struggled to manage expectations and the reality of them working through the handling in the late laps of these races. Kurt said, I've been a champ before, we can do this. Now they're two laps away from going to victory lane. They're proving they can do it. They adjusted this car when it wasn't so good in the middle of the race, turned it around, and now it's like he's gonna get this victory. One to go. The only driver in the top 10 in the championship standings all season long. That man, Kurt Busch. Just the one win on the road course at Sonoma. But steady, solid, after finishing 22nd in New Hampshire a week ago to lose ground in the championship, they're gonna gain it all back with a win on the Monster Mile today. Kurt Busch wins at Dover.